Hello everyone and welcome to this video on Course Creator 360. This is a review and so Course Creator 360 is from Stocks and Walbeck and so if you've been on the fence about whether or not to actually try this out, I do invite you to actually try it out because they have a free 30 day trial linked down below in the description. So as far as Course Creator 360 goes, I've been using it for well over two and a half years now and I actually um, exited out of my course business. It was uh, bought out by another company but Course Creator 360 has been absolutely phenomenal. So if you actually take a look at their website here, it says what it is. It's an ultimate all-in-one software for course creators built by course creators. And I come from the standpoint of having used Kajabi, I've used Teachable, and I've also used Thinkific. And in my opinion, Course Creator has number one, it saved me a lot of money because it's an all-in-one software. So if you scroll down, you can see some of the monthly expenses that Course Creator 360 saves on. So I canceled my email marketing subscriptions. I canceled my website builders. I canceled my booking and appointments uh, subscriptions. And I also canceled my courses and products uh, subscriptions as well. Course Creator 360, it saves you a lot of money. And in essence, with Course Creator 360, I'll just do a really quick review. And this is what it looks like when you first create your account. So you have something called the dashboard. So this is a general overview of uh, how your business is doing as far as conversion rates, how your funnels are performing. And again, I exited out of my business quite some time ago, so a lot of this isn't gonna be as populated. Here in conversations, you could actually centralize all your conversations in one place. So Instagram DMs, Facebook messengers, WhatsApp messages, uh, emails, that can be centralized all in this conversations tab. If you set up sales calls a lot, let's say if you're a realtor, you can see your calendar among what appointments do other team members have. And so here's an empty calendar. As I said, I don't really use this as much anymore because I exited out, but I am planning to launch another service business soon. I'm not gonna click on contacts because it's gonna show a lot of personal information. But contacts is essentially where your leads and your customers are. So it stores their name, first name, last name, data, address, email, if you're able to get it. Basically all your opt-ins are stored under contacts. I don't use opportunities too much. As far as my understanding of what this is, it's basically like a, kind of like a cabana board for like Trello as far as like seeing where the opportunities are when it comes to sorting leads goes. So I'm not too familiar with on this, so I'm not gonna speak on it too much. Uh, payments is where you see receive your invoices, which invoices are pending, which invoices are uh, already paid for and such. Now marketing automation and sites and memberships, This is these are the tabs that I tend to use the most. And so with marketing, this is where you actually set up your emails and with your emails, you're able to set up campaigns and templates, but the automations are is where the beauty of Course Creator 360 lies, in which, yes, I know that Go High Level also has automations, ClickFunnels also has automations, but what I really like about Course Creator 360 is that they actually give you like pre-built ways to organize your automation. So they have a folder for paying members, folder for leads and prospects, a folder for low ticket offers. They have a folder for appointment calls and workflows. They have an a folder for system workflows and email segmentation. And so I'll explain more into detail how this ends up working out. Uh, sites is actually where you build your website. So these are all the funnels that I've built and again, Course Credit 360 actually provides you with template funnels to base new funnels off of so that you don't have to start completely from scratch. What I really like about this is that if I'm not trying to become like a really expert website builder, a really expert funnel builder, I really like building upon things where I don't have to start from scratch. It just speeds up the learning curve just because again, I'm not trying to learn how to build a funnel from scratch, nor am I trying to learn how to build a website uh, landing page from scratch. I just wanna get the landing page done. I just wanna get the funnel done. Of course, I want it to be the best that it could possibly be, which is why Course Creator 360 actually gives you proven successful funnels. Like this one here, these squeeze funnels are successful funnels. These are their most successful funnels. They have product launch funnels, low ticket funnels, and these are all templates that are included with your membership. Now, speaking of membership, this is where your digital products can lie. So you can have courses, you can actually have digital products. Sadly, no sales the past 30 days. But like I said, I recently exited out. So this Course Creator 360 account of mine actually isn't serving a purpose anymore as far as, except for me demonstrating this in a video. But this is where all your courses can go. If you click on products, these are all the products that I used to sell before I exited out. And then you can also see the different offers you have to offer as far as maybe you wanna offer some discounts, um, maybe you wanna offer some uh, different payment plans and such. 
Now, analytics is how where you can see the progress of your students as far as like how far they've watched. Course Creator 360 also has communities built in, so you can have all your members or clients grouped up in a community hosted on Course Creator 360. Uh, media storage is where all your media is going to be stored, and reputation I think is the reviews like um, Trustpilot receives. Yeah. So this connects via reviews. I don't use this too much because I don't ask for official reviews as much anymore. And the main, the best parts of Course Creator 360, I'm basically leaving for last, all right? And so this is something that isn't on Go High Level. I've spoken about this a few times now on this video where templates are absolutely huge when it comes to Course Creator 360. I love all the templates that they provide just because they're proven templates that have worked for them. So you just have to kind of customize it to your liking. So this six day launch sequence pack includes one funnel, seven email templates, one automation template, uh, this course creator pro classic lead gen pack, one opt-in page, one confirmation page, and one form page. So all these templates are super, super easy to import. And I just like how it's based on proven successful models of what's worked before in the past. Although we might be in different niches, let's say they're in the course creation niche and I'm a realtor or a real estate agent. Yeah, it's different niches, but at least you have something to start with and you're not starting completely from the ground up. And so with these templates, I absolutely love it. It kind of speeds up the, if you're not, if you're a complete beginner to creating funnels, to creating uh, opt-in forms, to creating uh, landing pages, they really make it easy for you to get started with getting that up and running, especially if you're brand new to this kind of uh, technical processes and stuff. But this template hub just has all sorts of templates for you to get started with on Course Creator 360. Now, in addition to that, they have the 14-day bootcamp. So these are basically a series of 14 walkthrough videos going step by step, how to connect your domain, how to connect the payment processor, how to connect your first product, how to create your first course, how to create your first offer. So they literally guide you step by step. You know, if you actually open up this first one here and then click on play, you can see that it's a five minute video and you have Stockton there who's actually teaching you how to connect your domain and client portal to Course Creator 360. And so with that, it's such a phenomenal onboarding process that they have going on, especially for someone like me who's brand new. And even me, um, once I, even though I already had a domain connected to Course Creator 360 and I wanted to connect another domain to Course Creator 360, they still held my hand as far as like connecting my domain to CC360, which was for me just such good customer support. And so this series of 14 day, or these, these series of videos that, that are, you can obviously watch everything all in one day, but it really helps you understand like what it actually takes to get your minimal vial product up and running. And of course here, they're constantly updating Course Grade 360. I mean, look at all these new updates and releases, okay? So update, calendar UI, update, customizable calendar, update, update card info. They have a page dedicated to all their updates and new releases. I mean, it might be seen as a con that sometimes this can be seen as overwhelming just because there's all sorts of new updates always being built upon Course Creator 360. And I think every other week or every Friday, Stockton still actually hosts live calls, helping people work through Course Creator 360 as well still. With that being said, um, the onboarding call, the structured videos, their customer support, this is the last thing, is absolutely phenomenal. Anytime I ask a question, someone responds almost within like less than five minutes and they usually respond with a Loom video. So they actually walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to actually do something via a Loom video, AKA a video. And that just really helps clarify um, my understanding of how to figure out certain problems and such. So with Course Creator 360, I and mean, if you scroll down, it's basically an all-in-one platform. It's gonna save you hundreds of dollars per month. Uh, you can book a free 15-minute demo, but also if you use my link down below, you are gonna get a free 30-day trial to even test it out yourself. The plan that I have is this one here where I have uh, two CC360 accounts. So I have the premium plan built at 119 annually, or you can go monthly, 147 monthly. But even so, this just really makes it so that the pricing itself, 147 per month, that's how much you'll usually pay just for like one or two subscription softwares when in essence they're basically giving you all these subscription softwares for the one price of 147 per month so as someone again who's used all these other different platforms course creator 360 is my absolute favorite i've even used go high level but the thing with go high level is that 
they don't really have like these straightforward tutorials that you see right here, like the 14 day bootcamp. This thing was super, super helpful at helping me get started with uh, getting my digital product slash online course up and running. Uh, likewise, the templates, okay? The templates, the templates, the templates. I love the templates so much to the point where it just makes creating landing pages and funnels and workflows so much easier rather than you trying to think about it from scratch. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about Course Creator 360, do leave them down below in the comments. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.